parts of the forum asking for questions. So I've compiled them and grouped them in three categories. The first one is the questions about Multimedia Fusion 2, second one about Install Creator, and third one is about Click Team in general. So let's go first to Multimedia Fusion 2. Besides hardware acceleration, are there any major updates, extension the work for MMF2? So, well, you've seen basically what we were working on. Uh, Java is uh, my next five, four or five months ahead of me, while Eve is working on uh, finishing the hardware acceleration. After Java, I will uh, uh, work on a version for Silverlight. I don't know if you've heard about Silverlight. Silverlight is the answer of Microsoft to Flash, to is the con concurrent of Flash. Uh, the advantage of Silverlight um, is that uh, you, you can actually make a program in it, uh, where, whereas Flash, is the action script language, uh, is quite uh, not powerful enough for uh, to create a MMF runtime. But it's possible in Silverlight to make uh, to program the runtime. So I'll be working on that. Um, later this year, and then uh, will certainly come the Pocket PC runtime as well. So I've got many runtimes in front of me. Are there any more bonus packs in the works, and uh, be they movement or extensions? Uh, well, there won't be any more bonus packs, because we've uh, bonus packs are a hell to create, because you've got to synchronize all the extension creators uh, at the same time, and there are always something wrong with one extension, it's not ready, it's not working, there are bugs, uh, and uh, when the bonus pack is uh, released, the new version of the extension is released, etc. So we, we've decided to go more on a, a continuous uh, release of extensions. We'll be using a, a program created by Fax uh, to gather the information about the extension you've got on your machine and the extensions available on the net. So it will signal that uh, uh, the new extension and you will be able to automatically download them. So we will be releasing the new extension continuously and uh, just post on the forum that there are new extensions available and then people will simply run the program and download the extension on the Multimedia Fusion. Uh, bonus packs for movements. Uh, we have, uh, for the moment, we are a bit surprised that not so, so many people are programming new movements, so for the moment it's a bit static in this domain. Additional SDK transition in effect sound image filters, what is planned, when is planned to be ready. Uh, so the transition SDK is going to be remade and republished this autumn, so you will be able to create some transitions. Um, uh, so, and there will be a three, the direct 3D version of the transition SDK as well, so you'll be able to create hardware and software transition. The ink effect, uh, it's, it's all on Eve's task list, so uh, it's quite good. <laughs> <laughs> so he said he would also make the ink effect transition when he's got time. <coughs> So it, there will be the hardware uh, ink effect transition and the software ink effects. But I think that uh, now that we, we have hardware acceleration, everyone is going to focus on hardware acceleration and not software anymore. And sound image, this is another SDK, which should be released at the same time as uh, MMF3, so it's uh, in, in uh, one and a half year from now. So. Do you have any idea on paper in the back of your mind of where you would like to go with MMF3. For the moment, we've got a task list with 3,500 3, entries. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what we're going to do, we're going to, first of all, we're going to sort this, this list ourselves and extract the main ideas, the main improvements, and then we will ask your feedback on that. We will post it on the forums and uh, we will ask you to vote for each uh, thing you would like to have in the Multimedia Fusion 3 and then we will compile it back and we might not accept your entries but we will try to to keep to what you've told us and we'll then implement it in Multimedia Fusion 3 but there are some weak points in Multimedia Fusion like um, the event editor that needs to be modernized 
because it actually it has not changed very much since click and play, so it needs a uh, revamp. Um, uh, in, uh, printing is very poor. Printing. Uh, what, what else? Well, and other stuff like that. So we will address all the weak points of uh, multimedia fusion to make it uh, a good product. Yeah, <laughs> a better product. Is a pocket version of MMF going to cost the earth? So as I told you, it's going to be made at the beginning of next year. And uh, no, we're not going to make it. Uh, so either it's going to be free, uh, not for T TGF. For TGF, it's not going to be available. And we're wondering if it's going to be included in the developer version or the main version. We don't know yet. Um, including it in the, as well as the Java runtime. Is it going to be available for TGF, MMF, or MMF dev? We, we do not know. Uh, it would be for us a good uh, selling port for MMF2, uh, which would uh, drive people to buy it. So, and we prefer you buy MMF dev than <laughs> MMF2. <so. laughs> Is it going to be developed before next year? No, but uh, early next year. Mac OS 10 support for the runtime coming anytime soon. We do not plan any native support for Mac OS 10, but we, with the Java runtime, it will be able to run on the Mac and on Linux. <coughs> How far is MMF to being ported to Mac? Is it in your plan? So uh, you will have the runtime in Java. But I, uh, I also plan to work next year uh, on the main editor in Java. So this will be like uh, nine months to one year work. But this will enable us to access the Mac market and the Linux market at the same time. So it's very important for us to be on this market as well. Linux port for runtime and Linux port for of, of editing time. What is planned? When is it planned to be ready? So we do not port any native uh, port to Linux, but to Java, as I just told you. Are clicking looking in the possibility to use Wine Library to port MMF2 for the Linux platform? Actually, I do not know very much about the Wine Library. If it is possible to link the library into one executable, I don't know if anyone knows about that. No? If it is... Because I don't want to have it uh, as uh, to force people to download to and install Wine and then launch the MMF runtime without modification. It's uh, 